let's take a look at the snow plow here. Um, so Trackmaster actually toward, well, they've had snow plows in this range for quite a while. There was the um, snow plow that, that was attached to a Talking Thomas in like the early 2000s, which I actually did have that set. And then um, the Trackmaster, Fisher Price did, before they redesigned a Trackmaster 2, they had snow plows that could attach to almost any engine. And I have a couple of those. Um, particularly there's this red one that I've used in a lot of my narrow gauge stories. So I'm sure you guys may have seen that um, in like the episode Snowed In of my second series or second season. Um, you guys can see that. This one's kind of small in comparison. I don't have the other one to show you, but this one, I'd say is probably about half the size, if not less. It's pretty small. Um, it's got a similar backside to it, so I think it's supposed to be also kind of universal in some ways. So, let's see. Uh, okay, so it kind of snaps on. It's a little more rough than the other ones. The other ones kind of just easily situate themselves on. I wish it went lower, because if you look, I mean, this isn't a good angle, but you know, there's kind of some gap between the bottom of the plow. Like, I mean, I can stick my whole finger under there. So it kind of defeats the purpose of a snow plow in a practical sense. Um, it'd be, I, I like having an actual, a larger snow plow for my stuff. And when I eventually do some winter stuff again, I plan on using bigger ones from Shapeways. Um, so that way I can actually, you know, have some snow on the tracks and the engines can plow them over, actually plow through it and, and do what snow plows are intended to do. Um, but this is like, I mean, for kids, for a toy, I think it's great. Like, I mean, it's just, it's a small little addition um, to a set that they, I mean, they didn't need to include that, but they did and it's just an extra little feature. And that's what I love about PlayRail and Tomy and, the, and the, the toys that they create because they, you know, you can tell that they actually, they know what's going on with the product, um, well, with the, with what what the product is supposed to be about and so they actually try and implement as many things as they can and i, I think they do a great job with it so um yeah so there there's the snow plow on nia let's see one let's find out how easy it is to take off i if i don't ruin it um okay so it comes off on one side or the other interesting let's see how it is on thomas oh one thing i just want to note Nia's buffers, which is really interesting because so you saw how they didn't paint the back side of her buffers, but on the front side, not only did they they paint the the front here, uh, let's see if that'll get into focus. Um, not only did they paint the front of the buffers like what they did with Thomas, but if you look at the sides, they like painted her whole buffer. So if you can kind of tell there, like. I don't know why they did that or what, why it was done differently, especially since this is Percy's chassis, like why didn't they just paint it the same way they painted Percy? Like, I don't know, really odd choices. Um, but yeah, so let's see if this works with Thomas now. Oh, it does work. Awesome. That's really cool. So now Thomas can go through the snow. Sweet, I wonder, yeah, I'll have to play around um, to see what other characters it works on. I don't have any other ones out right now that I could test out, but we'll have to, I'll just have to run through and see. Maybe I'll post on Twitter or something and show which ones actually work with. Okay, although I don't like taking it off. It seems a little uh, temperamental. The, uh, the Trackmaster one, is a lot smoother and I don't feel like I'm gonna like break the front part of the um, engine off or part, part of the buffer beam off. So yeah, okay. So that is, we've, we've gone through everything. Let's do some comparisons now um, just to showcase. So here I've got, here, let me move some stuff out of the way. Here is a regular, so the new 2018 Thomas that they released. And then here's the one that just came in this pack. So you can see that it's got the, the rosy cheeks. I'm a huge fan of this face that they've they put on Thomas. I think they did a, did a fantastic job with it. So, um, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I got it, just to have another one of these faces. So I'm excited to get use out of it. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, besides that, I don't think there's literally any difference. I think that they've used the exact same uh, design besides just the, the ch adding the rosy cheeks. So there's the comparison on that. Then here is the new um, Percy. And we'll compare it with Nia since it's the exact same um, buffer beam or I guess chassis. So here, we'll take, take Percy apart and then we'll take Nia apart. We'll zoom out a little bit. So yeah, it is literally the exact same chassis, which is really odd because it has been several, several years since they've released anything with this type of motor, like anything new. And I thought for the most part, they were trying to move away from that. If you've noticed with a lot of PlayRail's latest items, since at least 20, ooh, 2013, 2014, all of their new engines have had the same type of motor. Um, like you can swap out the motors and the new James and Gordon and Edward and Henry and whatnot. And so I'm kind of surprised that Nia wasn't done in that same style. I think it would have been better try, than, try, kind, ugh, than trying to constrain her to Percy's design. Um, so it's just an interesting choice that they chose Percy's of all things, but I guess because they redesigned um, Percy in this last year that they were like, well, we're gonna keep producing this, might as well uh, get the most out of the, the design. Um, yeah, I'm very curious because they haven't, so PlayRail has, normally what happens when they release a new engine, it takes one of the, the numbers because they have a certain set of, uh, I guess spots in their lineup in their production and they're, they're actually numbered and I, they just recently expanded it up to I think 24, 25. Um, there's Nia on Percy's chassis. And Nia kind of looks weird with a white running board. I know that's one of the big complaints people have had about Nia's design is that it has the red running board but it kind of looks weird now seeing her with one. I don't know. I think Rebecca definitely needed one, but I don't know if Nia really needs it. Um, now if you throw Percy on here, kind of looks similar to the uh, old um, old design for a player of Percy before back in like 2002 when they redesigned and added the the white running boards on all the engines. So. Yeah, very interesting. I, I still don't understand the choice. Um, but yeah, anyways, what I was saying is I don't know what they're going to do with Nia in the future regarding the PlayRail line, because normally when they release an engine, it takes up one of those spots, like I was saying. Um, and Rebecca is going to be taking spot number 18. So I believe it's Belle is getting discontinued um, in her place. Or no, maybe it's spot number eight. Actually, no, I can't remember. Anyways, Nia, not Nia, Rebecca will be joining the lineup, but Nia is only available in this set. They haven't announced anywhere where she will be available in like a three pack. So like when this set gets discontinued, I don't know how people will be able to get a hold of Nia, which is interesting because Nia is supposed to be like part of the main cast now. So I don't know exactly what's going on. I assume that Nia will be added at some point, but I don't know. I don't know if she'll come with these um, with these pieces of rolling stock that this set had. That'd be kind of interesting, um, just because of the special features. But yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens if they do that with Nia, or maybe Nia will just kind of be limited to this set and this set alone. Um, so yeah, one more comparison. Uh, I also have a troublesome truck from. Percy's uh, re-release. So you can kind of see the difference there. Um, one thing that's interesting I wasn't expecting is that the the coffee truck, the red one there on the right, is like flatter in its design. It looks more 2D rather than the one on the left, which is 3D, which is odd because Rosie's trucks also have a 3D face as well, which I was thinking that they kind of moved away from the 2D cartoon look in order to um, focus on like this, like actually having it look like CGI, which is the point of the, the face, the, the redesigns with the faces and whatnot. So it's kind of odd that they went back to this kind of 2D look. And then this truck also has a 
I mean, it's kind of 3D, but for the most part, it's pretty flat. Um, yeah, very interesting. Um, but anyways, so yeah, let's see. I've got some batteries here. Let's see how Neo and Thomas run. Uh, I don't have any curves here, so we'll just let's run it back and forth just to see how she works. She takes a double A battery, um, just like Percy, literally just like Percy, because she's the exact same. Ooh. Kind of finicky putting it, like snapping down the the top part. I'm kind of surprised that it's been that difficult. Okay. Interesting noise. Kind of lower than most, uh, like the motor sound that most play rail engines make. I'm kind of surprised about that. But, yeah, so there's, there's Mia, solid runner. Um, kind of has a uh, jolt. I don't know if you guys can really see this, maybe. I put it on an angle. But she kind of, like, I don't think the wheels are balanced. Kind of, like, rocks a little bit as she's going on the tracks. Really, really interesting. Um, but Percy's model also has that issue. Um, like, here, let's just, let's test it out and see if Percy has the exact same troubles. Ugh. Okay, I guess Percy's kind of difficult to fit on as well. Notice the difference in sound, difference in the sound of Percy's motor. So Percy's also has it as well, which I've heard multiple people say, I think it's just kind of been a flaw in Percy's design. Um, but it's not as bad as Mia's. So yeah, kind of interesting. Um, Let's take a look at Thomas, the new one, the special face Thomas. Um, and I haven't had any troubles with Thomas, so I don't think he's going to run like that. I assume he's going to run pretty smooth. And he sounds normal, just like Thomas normally does. And he runs normal, exactly how you'd predict. So. Yeah, very interesting. So, yeah, let's um. No, oh, let's see. I ah, oh, dang it! I really wish I had some curves. I'd like to send them around with the the wagons, but let's just take the wagons through one by one with Thomas. Or you know what? Oh, should be Thomas and yeah. I'll give them each a chance. How about that? So. Yeah, I have a special plan and use for Nia, but you'll just have to wait and see what happens. So, because I am not a fan of her, I don't plan to use her as a character in my series, but you'll just have to wait and see what I do end up using her for. So, um, it's not for remakes either. I'm sure some people are, are guessing or wondering that because I've done so many remakes. I do not intend on making any Big World Big Adventure remakes. Um, I just don't think the movie is that good. I don't think it's worth taking the time to do the remakes of. And on top of that, they've cracked down on the copyright for those. So like, I don't know, they're losing out on free promotion on that, which is a shame. But... So there's the wagon. And I really like that. I think that's gonna be really fun. Um, a lot of potential having the, the trucks bounce like that. Um, I don't know. I think that there's some story potential there. I'll have to write up something where maybe there's a particular truck that just really likes to bounce, a, a jumping truck, and it causes problems for the engines. Sorry, the camera's getting out of focus there. Um, yeah, okay, let's see the other one. So I believe the salt van is supposed to be an African troublesome truck, and then the uh, which is where Nia joins the story, and then I believe the red truck is supposed to be um, the 
coffee trucks that they take in South America. So, you know, you get a variety from the story as well. Now this one, the one that comes with this truck is a far more interesting um, uh, balance to it. So like there, it's more violent, I would say, compared to the other one, the two of them, they kind of, I don't know, they, they rock differently. So it's interesting to see. Um, interesting enough, the the bottom of these, so I mentioned how they're, they're unique. Now, this isn't the first time Playrail has released these unique type of wagons where the, um, the, the rolling stock, you know, bounced or moved in some way. Uh, there was a set where Percy, a shocked face Percy had uh, Rocky and then two troublesome trucks that also did different things. And those ones had normal uh, bases. Not th they had the larger wheels, not these smaller ones. And so it's kind of interesting. Like the these are new designs um, for this set in particular. So I'd be very curious to see um, if they plan on using this in the future. Are we going to get more packs with, you know, troublesome trucks that kind of do some funny things? Um, but yeah, so there's both of them. really like that. I think that that's just awesome. Um, I will show a comparison between a normal, just a regular troublesome truck and the bouncy one. So it's clearly different and it stands out from the train. So definitely some story potential there. I'll just have to kind of play around with it and see what I can come up with. I know for sure I w when I bought this set, I was brainstorming, you know, having this maybe be on uh, somewhere in Henry Kip Henry's Flying Kipper train um, and have it be a part of the a plot with that somehow. But I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of potential considering that it, there's also this troublesome truck and uh, there's, you know, it, you can swap them out to other trucks as well. So, I mean, there's, there's definitely a lot of potential. Um, this cargo looks great literally in any wagon. I'm, I'm really happy about that. Excited to use it. Um, and this flatbed over here just looks solid. Um, so yeah, put it through one time. I'm just not a fan of how loose Ace is. I mean, maybe there's some like playing potential there um, for kids because you can just like knock Ace out really. <laughs> really easily, um, but yeah, interesting interesting choice. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't make him just a little bit wider or maybe adjust the design of this so that way it clamped a little tighter, but either way. Um, so yeah, let's take a quick review of all the, what came in the set one last time. Um, okay, so we've got, let me back up the camera. Let's see. Okay, so we've got Thomas with the snowplow. Then we've got the new Playrail Nia, um, which has some good aspects to her design and then some flaws and lack of detail uh, in other ways. Then we've got this cool flatbed that Atomica Ace can fit on. If it'll focus. So it looks really good. Um, especially compared to the uh, toys that are out here in the US right now for Big World Big Adventures. Like, I mean, this stuff is just stunning in comparison to the, the quality of those. So it's a shame Fisher Price doesn't step up to the plate more when it comes to this stuff. Um, so here's the coffee pot truck. Um, I'm a little disappointed they didn't like paint in the, the sides like they did with Rosie's, um, the, the new trucks that came with Rosie, but you know, it's fine. It works. Um, so there's that. And then also the salt van. And then Thomas also has that snowplow. So I mean, pretty, <laughs> pretty solid set um, overall. I mean, you got five items. I mean, more than that if you separate Ace. And then you've got the backdrop. Um, yeah, I, I, it's pretty cool because you can remake 
most of the movie. I mean, you can remake the Africa scenes because you have Thomas and Nia and you've got Troublesome Truck there. I mean, you could double this one as an African Troublesome Truck, too. Um, then you can remake the South American scenes uh, because you've got Ace as well and the flatbed. And so they can pull them and have their race and whatnot as they go up into North America. Then you also have the backdrop for North America as well. Um, then you can go over and remake the uh, snowy, climactic China scenes with the snowplow. It's just a shame that this doesn't like reverse to show like the the mountains, the snowy mountains and whatnot. Kind of a flaw with that. But for the most part, I mean, the fact that this is all one toy and you can remake most of the movie is pretty dang cool. Um, it's a shame that they haven't done anything like that here in the U.S. But you know what? That's just PlayRail. PlayRail knows how to make good quality toys um, when they choose to. Sometimes they choose not to. But yeah, so overall, I, I mean, I really like this. I, it, that's why I bought it, even though I'm not a fan of Big World Big Adventures, the movie itself. Um, I'm excited to get use out of Nia and Ace for my own particular purposes. Um, I really like... That is my phone. Sorry about that. Um... I really like the three pieces of rolling stock that we got here. I mean, I can use those in my own series. They they look like something that could be in the classic series. I mean, not really the faces, but I mean, that's easy to, to swap out or do something about that. So um, great new addition. Uh, the Thomas face was also worth it. The snowplow um, I can use. I, I probably will use a different one, but it's nice to, to have that just in case I decide to use it for some reason. So, I mean, the nice thing is, so even though, yes, Nia and Ace are kind of a big part of the set, um, I mean, there's all of this that I get from it that I can use for my own series, which is the point of why, really the main reason why I bought it. I mean, you get these unique pieces of rolling stock, the snowplow, the special face Thomas, and the unique cargo. So, I mean, that was kind of the key things for me, and that's why I bought it, even though not a huge fan of Big World Big Adventures, the movie. I, I thought that it was a great set that I wanted to, to get. And when PlayRail makes good products, I want to actually, you know, support them. I want to I buy good products when they make them so that way they can keep making good products. That's why I bought the new Thomas and Percy, um, the new Rosie. Uh, and that's the reason why I also have not bought the new Ashima. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that if you really want to show a, co a company what you like and don't like it it's how you spend your money so if you don't like something don't buy that product if you like it buy that product so um because when they when companies make their decisions they look at uh what the you know how much money those those items in particular have made so hopefully they can you know as we buy as, as um, fans of this um, brand as we buy good quality products hopefully they can continue to make those kind of products that we can continue to buy. So yeah, overall, that's kind of my thoughts of this um, this set, this pack. Um, I don't know if it's really called a set. I don't know what they exactly call it because they didn't really sell these um, in the US before Tomy, you know, before the switch to Trackmaster. So anyways, I've ranted on long enough. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, kind of something unique. I don't know if I'll keep doing it. Let me know in the comments if you guys liked this, if you want me to keep doing stuff like this, if I order new products from PlayRail. Um, obviously I wouldn't do it just for some random item. I, I mean, PlayRail items that get sent over from Japan, I, I think are worth taking the time to actually um, review and whatnot. So uh, I know for sure I'm gonna buy Rebecca when she comes out because I'm excited that you know, here you have this very British looking engine and I, I'll probably customize to use as a background engine for some mainland scenes that I have planned in the future. Um, so I know I'll, I'll at least buy one Rebecca that I will customize. I might buy a second one that I'll just keep um, the same way that, that she is in, in her design. I wish her buffers were, pa were painted, but anyways, that that's another video for another day. Um, I don't plan on buying Young Bao, so uh, there won't no chance of review on that, but we'll have to see. I mean, they, they just announced that Boulder set too. Might end up getting that, maybe do a review of it. I don't know, we'll just have to see. You guys just let me know if you like this and we'll see about, you know, keeping them coming. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll talk to you later.